Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys Summer Showcase figure preview video. Now before we begin I do have to say as always a huge thank you to Ryan Kirkwood for going out in person and snapping these gorgeous high res pics. Show Ryan some love in the comments below because without him this series literally wouldn't be possible. Now if you are looking to pre-order the diecast Robocop from Robocop 3, well he is available from ToysWonderland.com. I have popped the link for that in the description below. They have 12 month installment plans and a points based reward system. Now this out of all of the second wave of announcements from Summer Showcase was the biggest surprise at least for me. I am a massive Robocop fan. Even when I was probably too young to enjoy the first movie, I watched it, I loved it, and I've been addicted to the Robocop design ever since. Now, let's be honest, Robocop 3 wasn't the best, the most well-received of the Robocop films, I think we all know that, but Hot Toys have taken some creative liberties with the Robocop 3 license. More on that though in just a second. Now he does come with almost the same array of accessories as the original diecast Robocop, just the standard release without the chair. You do get the data spike, you've got the fully articulated finger hands. Unfortunately though, just like with the original, I don't think you have a hand that's specifically molded to hold his Auto 9, which is of course his pistol. Now just like that original, you do have two different versions. One that's full die cast without any moving pieces, and the other that's plastic that does have a working slide and a removable magazine. I never really saw the need for two pistols with the 1.0 from the first film, but if they're going to give us two pistols here, then yeah, I'm not going to complain. You do, however, get some new pieces. You do get the missile that attaches to his missile launcher, and you have the battle damage chest plate. Now, you did get a battle damage chest plate with the Robocop 1 release, but it is a little bit different to this one. Now, this is exclusive to the special edition, and if I were you, I would absolutely go for it, because having some battle damage pieces is always a good thing. Now, this right here is what I was talking about when I said creative liberties. Now, Peter Weller was replaced in Robocop 3 with Robert John Burke, but those mouth plates do look an awful lot like Peter Weller. Now I'm not complaining, he is my preferred option for Robocop, so this for me absolutely works. But technically this does now make him inaccurate to Robocop 3. Is that really a bad thing? Well, depending on your stance on the movie, it's going to be entirely up to you. Now the display base has the OCP logo up on top and Robocop as the nameplate. Interestingly, there's no mention of Robocop 3 here, and the display base is no longer super high gloss. That was super annoying with the original, it would scratch, he'd slide around on the surface because it was super slick. Now it's a print with some texture that hopefully will grip on to Robocop's very smooth feet, because of course on the underside there's no tread, there's no texture, it's just completely flat. Now, as for the design of Robocop himself, I'm fairly certain this is complete reuse of the original mold. Now, I'm not mad at that, just like I'm not mad that he comes with the same array of accessories and the Peter Weller mouth plates. Am I making excuses here because I just really like Robocop? I don't know, but I love this figure. Specifically though, for the colour scheme. It's no longer silver with that subtle purplish blue tint to it. This time it's almost a darker blue and it does have that iridescent purple shine. Now you may be thinking, oh, isn't that the color scheme from Robocop 2? And yes, he was very blue in Robocop 2, I will give you that. But in Robocop 3 they dialed it down just a little and this I think represents that beautifully. I love the purple tint you can see around the edges and as the light bounces off it, plus the blue does kind of come across silver in certain lighting conditions anyway. This could be a really good opportunity for those who missed out on the first Robocop 
And all of those additional pieces, such as the jetpack and the missile launcher and the gun arm, you can take all of that off and just display him as a standard Robocop. Am I hoping that one day we get the all-out, fully saturated blue version from Robocop 2? You bet I am, that's my all-time favourite look. But this one is pretty darn close, I love the more saturated look to the armour. Now, is this going to be for everyone? Again, I am rather curious. Do let me know which is your favourite look for Robocop from the three films, and if you're planning on picking this guy up, plus whether or not you have the original. I have the one in the chair, the standalone release, and the battle damage version. So don't worry, as soon as this guy comes out, you bet we'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison. Alright, enough gushing, we do have to talk about one little frustrating thing. Now it's not a deal breaker, but it was present on the original, and if they were ever going to make another Robocop, I was hoping they would have changed it. It's the rubber gasket inside the elbow joint. Now, when you have him just standing straight up and down, yes, it's not a huge issue. It looks entirely seamless and very accurate. However, if you do have his arm bent for a long period of time, then it can start to crack and degrade. Plus, as that joint starts to get a little bit weaker over time, because that rubber is constantly fighting against it, then it does like to spring back down and not hold the pose. Is that something that maybe they could have corrected with ratchet joints? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see when this guy comes out. But it was present on the original, and I can still spot it here. Now, the jetpack is something that we do need to discuss. It's the one very big key new accessory. I like the way it's sculpted. I like the way it's painted. Is it 100% essential for the display? No, I don't think it is. I never really liked it in the first place. You do have a couple of decals here and there, plus some weathering and airbrushing around the edges. Now, I'm curious to see how this actually attaches to Robocop. Is it a nice positive connection with some locking points? Or is it simply just resting there? Or are they using magnets? There are a bunch of different options here. He also does have the little flight control panel things that hook onto his hands. How does that all work? We will only know, unfortunately, when this guy is released. Now, the head sculpt. I love it. It looks identical to the original. I thought the original was perfect. I've never actually reviewed those other Robocop figures, but I'm pretty sure you all know that I love them. It might be something that I go back and re-review because I would really like to have some reviews for the original Robocop figures live on the channel when this guy eventually gets released. But I love the expression, I love the choice of mouth plates, and again, that colour is absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, there is some kind of weird seam line down the front of his visor. I'm hoping that goes and it's just there for the prototype, but it is worth noting. You also can swap out the entire gauntlet for his shotgun weapon attachment SMG thing on his left side. You don't have to go with that because you do get a regular hand, but once again, you get a bunch of different options. And as we all know, options are definitely a Good thing. Do weigh in down below. Do you like this look for Robocop? Are you disappointed that they didn't get the likeness right? Or are you like me and you prefer Peter Weller anyway? I'm hoping Hot Toys continues this line as I have been waiting for a Robocane for years. Once again, if you are looking to pre-order Robocop, he is available from ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below. They have 12-month installment plans and a points-based reward system. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon, and join button if you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.